What are arteriovenous malformations? As the name implies, it is a normal growth of blood vessels in the body. They can occur anywhere, uh, anywhere right all the way from the head to the toe. They tend to involve at least 1% of population. So there is an ordered system of blood being brought from the heart to the tissues and from the tissues returning blood uh, through the veins back to the heart and lungs for reoxygenation. Arteriovenous malformation occurs when this order of growth of tissues is not followed. One of the most critical areas that the malformations can occur is within the brain. These are called as brain arteriovenous malformations. Now, frequently, we first diagnose it uh, based on physical appearance. Some patients may notice a large bluish lump or a bluish mass that is slowly growing. Internally, it can also grow in the organs. Patients will present with a stroke, which means they will most commonly come with a bleeding in the brain. We usually do an ultrasound to confirm its presence underneath. And sometimes we even do an MRI. Depending on size, location, and invasion of tissues, in some cases, it may be curative surgery, but in the large majority, the surgery is not curative, but to control the growth of this so that patients can have a good quality of life without pain, bleeding or disability. And we are able to at least control and cure a large number of these patients using different techniques which can involve open surgery, which can involve endovascular surgery and sometimes with radiation treatment. In some cases, we block the arterial supply. This is a procedure known as embolization. We use either metallic coils or glue or beads to block the arterial supply. In some other cases, it is to block the veins that form a large part of it, the drainage veins, and these are large channels. And we use a procedure called sclerotherapy in which we inject a chemical under ultrasound guidance or under uh, X-ray guidance to cause the veins to also block off and scar off. In some other cases, we sometimes directly from the skin put a probe into the region of the malformation and we freeze it to cause it to scar down and block off. That's known as cryotherapy. Frequently, it may be a combination of these methods first to control the malformation. And then if it shrinks down in size and is controlled over time, sometimes we go in and then excise or resect the whole mass such that it's completely removed. 